Hello, fourth grade. It's that time of year where we are looking for individuals that are interested in joining our safety patrol team as crossing guards. So let's look at this a little closer. Um, before I start, I'm going to I'm going to try to go fairly quickly here. I don't want this video to be too long. So if you do have questions, uh, reach out to Mrs. Robson or me, Mr. Egan, and we'll answer any questions that you have. So you'll see me at FIAT during FIAT or at recess and same thing with Mrs. Robson. You'll see her sometimes at recess or you'll see her in school walking through the hallways or whenever there's an appropriate time for you to connect with her, feel free to ask her questions or me. All right, our crossing guards help students get to and from school safely each day. All right, they're an important part of keeping our school community safe. And let's look at this a little bit more in depth, okay? We have our crossing guard pledge, and it's a promise for you to do your best to report to duty on time, uh, perform your duties faithfully, which means you're going to do uh, whatever your responsibilities are at your position. You're going to do that each day. You're going to do that again and again and again and again. We can just count on you. Um, you're going to strive to set a good example for others. So when other students see you, they're always going to see you doing your job, being respectful and being responsible. And uh, you're going to obey teachers and officers of the patrol so that that, that could be Mrs. Robson or me, Mr. Egan. It could be another adult out there helping us. It's, it could be other patrol members. Um, so we're always going to uh, obey and follow directions and be responsible um, with our jobs. Uh, you are going to report dangerous student practices. So if you see Echo Park students doing something that's not safe, you're going to make sure you, you report that to uh, Mrs. Robson or me or any other adult that's out there helping. And then you're going to strive to earn the respect of fellow students. And you're going to do that by being respectful yourself. You're going to always be helpful. You're going to be responsible. You're going to uh, set a good example by uh, being on your best behavior. All right. Let's talk about our schedule. You're going to have three options when you patrol. You could be a morning only patrol, which means you would not, if you're a busser, you would not ride the bus to school. You'd be dropped off here at Echo Park by 845. You'd enter the fifth grade commons area and you would exit the building with your patrol things by 8.50 because we need to be at our patrol positions by 9 a.m., all right? So you talk to your family, you decide, hey, we can help in the morning, we can't help in the afternoon, but we could be a morning patrol only. Um, you also could be an afternoon patrol only. So, you know, you talk to your family, the mornings don't work, but you're already at school, you could stay after school to help patrol. Um, in that case, if you were a busser, you would need, you would not ride the bus home. You would need a ride home after school. So a parent would need to pick you up um, in front of the school by four o'clock each day. And then option three is you've talked to your family and they've decided, hey, you can help before school and after school. So you'd be a morning patrol and an afternoon patrol. So if you were a busser, you would not ride the bus in the morning. You'd be dropped off by 845. And if you were a bus or home, you would not ride the bus home. You would need a ride home by 4 p.m. each day. So those are your three options. Morning only, afternoon only, or both morning and afternoon. And if you have questions about that, come see me or find Mrs. Robson and we can help you with those questions. Available positions. Well, we have nine positions available in the morning and nine positions available after school. So depending on, you know, do we have how many morning only applications do we have? How many afternoon only applications do we have? Or how many uh, morning and afternoon applications do we have? So that will kind of determine how many students we need uh, for our crossing guard team. Let's talk about weather really quickly. It, it's, uh, it's important that we understand um, what our responsibilities are when the weather is not nice. Okay, so let's talk about rain first. 
when it's raining or there's a chance of rain, you will always wear a rain jacket. And the cool thing is, is we provide you with those rain jackets. So you don't need to bring one from home, but you'll always have it on if it's raining or there's a chance of rain. And then if there's lightning outside, patrols do not go outside. We will send the adults out to patrol um, and then we'll have students stay in the building and we'll have jobs for you to do to help. Uh, with students coming in, in for school each day if there's lightning. Oops, wrong way. Winter. Let's talk about winter. And I'm going to move my face up here. Hopefully that worked. Um, winter. And we're going to go through this. It's kind of layered. So each time it gets colder, we have the things that were listed above, and then we add some things uh, on as we go down. So Below 50 degrees, you need to have a coat or a sweatshirt, socks, and pants. If we when, we when we go down to 40 degrees, we're gonna have those things that we mentioned above, and then a winter coat, hat or headband, mittens or gloves, and then of course, all the above. Uh, if we go down to below 10 degrees, all the above plus snow pants and boots. If we get to zero degrees, we're going to go all of the above, and then we're going to add a scarf or some type of face protection. And then if it's negative 10 degrees, everything that was listed above. If we get to negative 20 degrees or colder, you will not go outside. Again, you'll have responsibilities in the school. We'll have adults out patrolling for you on those days. It's very important during the winter that we are dressed uh, appropriately for the weather because it, it is cold out and we want to make sure that you are safe as you're outside helping our students get to and from school. Attendance. Now when you become a crossing guard we need you to be here for your scheduled time. So if you're before school, after school, or both. Now, we also understand things throughout the school you're going to come up. You are going to be absent. You know, it might be uh, you have an appointment or you're sick or your family uh, is on a trip or we could continue to build that list of reasons why you would be absent. And we understand that those things are going to happen. Um, it is just your responsibility to make sure you communicate with us so that we know that you will be absent that day from your crossing guard duties and that we can fill in with others. So um, you have some options. You could if you know that, hey, it's Tuesday and I know I'm going to be gone on Friday, I'm just going to let Mr. Egan know or I'm going to let Mrs. Robson know, and that's great. That's very easy for you to tell us, hey, I'll be gone Friday. I won't be here able to uh, patrol. Great. Done. Um, if it's you forgot or it's more last minute, you can call the school uh, and leave a message in the office, and they'll make sure that we know you'll be absent. Or you could email uh, Mrs. Robson or me. Uh, Mr. Egan and let us know you're going to be gone. Uh, any of those work. We just want to make sure that we know that, okay, you're not going to be there that day. Let's talk about how you apply. There's Step one is we're going to send a link to your classroom teacher that they'll share with you that'll link you back to the online application. Step two is you're going to talk to your family about um, Crossing guards, does, does this work for you? Is it a good fit? Do they have your permission to do this? Step three is once you've talked to the, your family and they said, yes, we can do this, you figured out, you know, does mornings work, do afternoons work, uh, can you do both? Then you're going to complete the online application ASAP as soon as possible. Step four, Mrs. Robson and Mr. Egan, that's me, we will schedule you for an interview. And we will also talk to your classroom teacher and other specialist teachers to make sure that, hey, you're a good candidate for our safety patrol team as a crossing guard. Step five, Mrs. Robson, and uh, I will contact you with our decision. So we'll let you know what we've decided um, with whether you become a member of our crossing guard team or not. So, um, and we can talk a little bit more in depth about what happened and what the decision was and what went into that once we, once we chat with you. All right, again, if you have any questions, 
please ask us. You can have your families email us. You can have your families call us if your parents um, or your families have questions about doing this. Uh, you can ask us. You'll see me every day, either at recess or, or maybe during gym class, or you see Miss Robson at recess or in the hall at appropriate time to stop and ask her. So um, please ask questions. We'll get you the answers that you need. All right. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.